We love our RV. What we don't love is finding our sheets, comforters, and pillows on the floor in the morning because everything just slides off the edge. What's in this box promises to solve that problem, but is it worth the $300 price tag? We'll find out in today's episode of Life Redesigned. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Life Redesigned. Today we actually have something that uh, we're kind of curious about and we're hoping solves the problem. Uh, but we are divided, <laughs> uh, to put it mildly, as to if it was worth the cost. I'm talking about Betty's. Um, it's something you've seen all over the uh, YouTubes and interwebs from influencers all around. Uh, however, we paid for this <laughs> out of our own pocket to the tune of $323. Uh, once you get shipping and everything else involved in here and that was with the coupon code so right off the bat I'm going to tell you that uh, there's some improvements that need to be in the shipping methods um, this is the box that came in you'll notice it's open up top we'll go over that in a minute but it also decided it was going to open during shipping um, and then Carrie, if you want to come out in here and get a shot of this label this is another thing that caused uh, issues here as you can see the ship to is all ones and the ship from is all ones um, when you're having product shipped to an rv resort um, that becomes a problem because they don't know whose it is and in the case of our resort um, they didn't want to give it to us so that becomes a problem we had to jump through some hoops just to get this package here not something that when you spend this kind of money on um, what i'll just call a comforter set um, until I'm proven wrong, um, do you want to see this? But other than that, uh, once you get this here, uh, we're going to unbox this in live time. And again, video reviews and product reviews are not really my specialty, but we'll give you an idea of what we're looking at. Um, basically, what you have inside this box is a comforter set. <laughs> and uh, the idea of Betty's, for those of you who don't know, is that Betty's offers a, a situation where everything is zipped together. So once we get this on, it's basically all attached to one another. And it promises to solve the problem of having everything slide off the back because there's no footboard here. So this here is the uh, Lux line. This is airing. Um, and this is, you know, the colors that we were looking for. There is a multitude of colors. Um, the reviews on Amazon are very solid. Um, so I, I don't have any qualms there. Um, but at the same time, when you, <laughs> when you, you look for this kind of solution, you got a standard bed sheet sets, maybe 40 bucks. A comforter, depending on what you're looking for. Um, you know, maybe another 50. Uh, but this is where you know everything gets interesting. So this here, um, it comes with, this is a queen, so this is a residential queen. They also have them for uh, RV size, short queens and, and, and the such. Uh, but for our use, it is a residential queen. It comes with two pillowcases. Now, Carrie and I couldn't remember everything it came with um, when we were talking about this, so we're gonna kind of find out as we go. And it does come with two shams. This is one of our uh, this was one of our discussions off camera um, as to whether or not it came with shams because Gary did not think it did and I was gonna say for 300 bucks it better come with shams and it probably should come with an elf to jump out of here and put these on for me but that being said um, you know it feels thick right off the bat <clears throat> this is heavy like the whole package itself weighed about 18 pounds um, and you can feel just the fabric here it's no joke. This is this is heavy duty stuff. Uh, so I will say that surprised me because one of my concerns was that this was going to be like a sleeping bag, and then I wasn't going to be able to get comfortable. But as far as you know, or it's going to be too thin or something along that lines, I'd rather run the rig a little bit uh, a little bit cooler and have a heavy blanket. Yeah, I'm quite sure there's some of you that are with me. You know, people, those of you who like. Uh, you know the weighted blankets and stuff of that nature um, I'd rather have that as opposed to a thin blanket and have to turn the heat on in the middle of the summer um, but my understanding is this fits any kind of standard mattress uh, no matter how deep it is and I'm just checking here to make sure I got the right ends 
I will say the color is pretty much spot on what Gary and I thought it was going to be. And you'll have to excuse us. The uh, wireless mics today have decided they weren't going to work, so I'm kind of shooting this off the GoPro. Uh, so the sound may be muffled as I turn around. But I wanted to do this in real time to show you how easy or how difficult this is going to be. Every piece of bedding we've tried to put on this bed becomes an ordeal. And, and there is a struggle here. But this so far, not so bad. It's just like putting on a regular fitted sheet. And again, it is thicker and it does have an elastic that should keep this kind of snug here. But the theory being, once you wrestle this on, the theory being that it has zippers on the sides and that it's when you're done, you just basically zip up your bed and your bed's made, which is another great little selling point for this. I'm just going to push this back so I can get in here. And this, if this becomes too long, we'll speed this video up in editing. But other than that, uh, I gotta say, so far, <laughs> um, I like the, as a guy, I hate making the bed. Um, in fact, if our door wasn't right there, I probably never would make the bed. Um, but this is, you know, as Carrie and I are like the odd couple, was it, uh, for those of you who grew up with TV in the 70s, uh, Carrie likes to make the bed, have everything perfect. I like to have it a little bit messy. Oh. Okay, so now I'm sure that nobody's got my uh, Oscar and uh, Felix reference. Pretty much dating myself here, but not everything's on the bed itself. Um, as you can see, it's pretty simple. You just pull this zipper, and it actually has. Let's see if you can get this when I come around, Carrie. This has a pretty good pull, like a pull tab to it. So that you can reach, you know, and just pull without a lot of leverage. Zipper movement's pretty solid. It just slides right through. And this will zip all the way to the end. And you can even unzip this part. So what this allows you to do is one, uh, you can get in here. And uh, two, kind of allows for you to have your blankie. They also do, and this is a heavy, I, I gotta say, all right. I thought this was a gimmick. I'm not going to lie. I thought this was very gimmicky when Carrie was looking at these. And especially when she gave me the price that I was very uh, skeptical. But they even include, like on the side, there's an extra flap. So, you know, when you're fighting for for blankets in the middle of the night, because your wife's got three quarters of it over here. Yeah, they give you a little extra so that she won't feel, you know, whatever. Then when you're done, you just pop it under and you would zip right back in. Now, what's cool about this is that if you're vertically challenged like Carrie, you'll be able to uh, zip this right up and you, you'll be able to fit your four foot four frame right in here without a problem. But if you're taller like me, it typically has an issue with the length of the bed in general, as I sink behind this dehumidifier here, uh, find that zipper. Having this where you can have your feet free, or even if you just don't like being, you know, feeling like confined in here, um, that's pretty solid. And it is going to take me a little bit just to get, you know, this whole bed situated. Um, but the color is exactly what it showed online. This blanket, the top to this has some heft, which is, again, something I was concerned was going to be a thin thing. But more importantly, when we're done sleeping, yeah, it's, it's really as simple as uh, zipping it up so the outside world thinks as I get over that. The outside world thinks, wow, Bob and Carrie, they're two cool cats. They always keep their bedroom made. And in reality, it's just a couple of zippers. But more importantly, it solves the issue, or it should solve the issue, obviously, of no blankets falling off because they're zipped to the bed. It was great. 
So now we'll come over to the little shams. These are pretty cool. So these do have a tuck and come over, get a little flap there. Uh, and I will say the fabric is heavy duty. This is, it feels solid. Like it feels like what you would expect 300 bucks to feel like. Uh, did I mention it was $300? And did I mention this, vi this video is not sponsored or we are not given promotional products? We're doing this because we were like you and curious. Now, that being said, you know, pillowcases again, pretty solid. Uh, and they both have that little flap thing, which is pretty cool. So you, you know, you have your pillow ends sticking out. As you can tell, I'm in guy mode today. So I just try to make the bed. But so far, for an un unboxing and a review, I'm going to say this is pretty solid. It, it really actually exceeded my expectations. All right, just want to pop back in here after actually reading the uh, care tips that are on the back of the uh, display piece here. And a couple of things to note is one is wash in cold water on a normal cycle, tumble dry on low. Uh, for the first wash, they recommend using a cup of white vinegar to set the colors in. Um, and it says do not wash any other items with your beddies. Uh, it's also for the best wash and fastest dry time, separate the top from the bottom, which makes sense because it is a thicker product. Um, and remove your beddies out of the wash machine uh, promptly, leaving it in the wash machine can lead to color transfer. Uh, so other than that, it says I'll leave the uh, warning labels, the US tags on there, uh, because it, don't pull them out because it will create a hole and it's not warranted for that. Um, and make sure any other excess fabric is out of the way in the zipper when closing, uh, which is pretty sensible. Uh, the only thing I notice here is that it's designed in the USA but it is made in China. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty sad, but because uh, we like to purchase things made in the US, but uh, you know, the designed in USA can be a little misleading. But other than that, uh, for the first initial impressions, I'm impressed, Carrie's impressed. Uh, so that's two of us, you can color impressed with the Betty's Erin design here. And again, all the links will be below in the video description. If you want to check them out on Amazon or on Betty's website themselves. And leave us a comment if you've had them, how long you've had them, how they've lasted for you. We'd like to know. Uh, is this something that we should purchase another one to have as a backup? Or do you guys just wash and put back on? Uh, these are all things that we'd like to know as we delve into this land of luxury bedding. Till next time, I'm Bob, Carries Behind the Camera. This has been Life Redesigned. We'll catch you next Sunday.